Hi, today this video might get a little bit rambly because I'm not really sure what I'm going to say, but um, a lot of people on YouTube do what's called a favorites video, and that's where they go the month before, and they do it at, like at the beginning of the month, and they do their, fa so right now, at the beginning of May, I should have done my April favorites, get it? Okay, but I'm totally unorganized, and I know I break all kind of YouTube rules, but that's okay, because I really don't even know what the rules are. There's probably YouTube etiquette, and I'm way off, but that's okay. So I'm just going to talk about some of my favorite things. Um, number one, what is better on Mother's Day than flowers and a card? A card and an Ulta gift card. That's what's better. Ha, ha, ha. So I told my husband a few weeks ago that I've wanted this perfume for a long, long time, but it was kind of expensive, and I don't know. I just don't buy myself perfume expensive perfume. I don't even buy myself cheap perfume, but I just don't buy myself perfume. So I felt like I needed him to get it, but then I knew if I told him what to get, he would, you know. So um, I told him I would like a $50 gift card to Ulta because the perfume was $58, but I had a 20% off coupon, so it was perfection, right? So he swears when I opened the gift card it was for a hundred dollars. It was, I, I couldn't believe it. I mean, that's, that's kind of silly, right? But, um, he told me I said $100. I know I didn't. But anyway, so I rushed off to Ultra literally Sunday afternoon, and I got the things I've been wanting so badly. And the first thing was perfume. Now, here is the gift box thingy that it came in. And this perfume, people talk about it all over YouTube. And I finally went and sampled it. I sampled it probably 10 times before I said, you know, I really do love it. Because my husband wasn't super crazy about it. So that's really kind of a bad thing, but whatever. Okay, it's called, it's D-N-K-Y Be Delicious. Um, it is the best. So this was the little container it came in, the big container it came in. And it came with a perfume, kind of like a little apple. I think it's also, people call it green apple. I don't really know. And it came with... Um, a lotion. Okay, so I go up to the counter. I had a couple other things with me, and I go up to the counter with my can, and guess what the first thing the lady said was? You can't use your coupon on fragrance. Oh, I about died. I couldn't believe it. So I got back out of line, and I thought, and I thought, and I thought, and I thought, and then I decided, you know, I've been looking at this perfume for two months. He did give me a $100 gift card. What can I say? So I decided to buy it, and then I used my 20% um, off on this. I'll tell you what I used my 20% off on, but this was only $12, so it wasn't near the savings I was expecting, right? But I decided I've been using mineral makeup for a long, long time, like years, like three, four, five years. But over time, I've been through a lot of stress lately. Cry me a river, everybody is. But it's a particular thing in my life that has just caused my skin and my, it's just, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's just getting old or if it's a combination of getting old and not sleeping and being kind of stressed out a little bit. But anyway, I decided I needed something more um, creamy or whatever than mineral makeup. So I Googled best foundation for women over a certain age. And this was one of the inexpensive ones that popped up. All May Smart Shade Anti-Aging Makeup Base. And so I bought it. It doesn't come in a very big tube, but it comes in with a plastic and a cardboard thing behind it. You know the drill. Um, and it's got SPF 20 in it. And I really like it. Now you probably can't tell any difference in how I look now, except that my lighting changes every single day, and I kind of have a greenish hue today because I sit right in front of a window. See, my neighbor's car is reflecting on me. I had to turn this sideways. There's all these green leaves that have budded out in the past two weeks, and so now I always have a greenish hue, but whatever. Anyway, I think I really like this. I've used it for two days, so that's not a big thing, but I think it looks good, and what I do is I do my new um, foundation and I use very little and then after I do my blush and everything I do the teeniest tiniest mineral makeup over it just to like I don't know and it seems to be pretty good so I kind of like that and so if you're looking for and this is just not me talking this was rated really high on a couple of different websites now on my video out by the pool I talked about hard candy glow all the way um, can you see it? 
that there's so much reflection because of my window. But if I shut my window, it's a cave in here. But um, if I shut the blinds, it's um, a face and body luminizer. Okay, now it does definitely luminize. Like if you put it on your shoulders and everything, it would look. It looks really pretty, but it it's it's pretty pinky. And let me just tell you that I thought it looked really good, and then I went out in the sun, and then I walked into the sunlight. Oh, it was total Edward Cullen. It is the sparkliest thing. I look like a vampire off the Twilight movies. Exactly like a vampire. It is super super sparkly. So I would recommend it for your face please because I was just going to use it right here but do I want you know glitter on my cheeks no so anyway I'm not going to return it I'm going to put it when my granddaughter come out, comes over to swim I'm going to let her wear it and she'll think it's really cool I feel certain and maybe even my 16 year old and her friends will want to be vampirish and they'll wear it too I have no idea okay the last thing I'm going to talk about is one of my favorite things I've discovered and it was only $1.97 now, all that stuff I got at Ulta, except the hard candy I got at Walmart, but the perfume and the shade, um, smart shade anti-aging makeup I got at Ulta. Now, it sounds like I'm sponsored by these people because I'm saying it so clearly for you, but I just want you to know what I'm buying. No one sponsored me. Believe me. Anyway, I um, like eyeliner pencil. I've tried um, liquid. It's okay, but it comes on too thick. But anyway, I have been looking for a pencil that's really, really soft and that can be sharpened. Let me tell you, sometimes that's a difficult thing to get. Some of them, they're way too hard to, to put on your eye, um, to put it on. It's just real hard and you have to pull and tug it. Yeah. Well, one day I was walking through Walmart, uh, Walgreens and I saw this little display and don't even ask me anything about this company because I know nothing. It's Jordana. J-O-R-D-A-N-A, -A, Onyx, and it's a gold pencil with black on the end, okay? It's some brand. It's got a few different things on the little display, and it was $1.97, and I thought, what have I got to lose? I picked one up. Loved it. I love it. I love it. I went and got another one a couple of days later because it was only $2. I might stockpile three or four or five of them because who knows how long this will be around. It could be a 100-year-old brand. I don't know. But being on kind of an end cap, sometimes you don't know how long this stuff's going to be there. So I wanted to tell you about that because this is really dark. It's onyx. It came in a couple of other colors, and I really, really liked it. Now, one more thing I got at... Um, Ulta that's talked about quite a lot on Beauty Guru YouTubes that I'm not completely 100% is NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. They all talked about it like it's the greatest thing. Here it is. It's pure white, okay? And some girls like put it under their eyes. I put a tiny bit today and I put some right here today. Did you see how that lighting just turned green? Anyway. I put it right here, and I don't know, I think it's a little too bright. So I'm not 100% sold on it, but um, it also seems to be a little bit like, I swear if I went in the Winnie the Pooh ride at Disney World, I would glow in the dark. You know, it has black lights all in it, and I feel like this on my eyes would like glow because it seems to have sort of an, a little tiny bit of an iridescent to it as well. It's not just flat, flat white, which is what I wanted. But anyway, a little goes a long, long way. It was $4.95, so if I have to return it, that's fine. And I may just keep it and use it, I don't know, for Halloween or something. But anyway, that's my reviews for today. Some of my favorite things, some of my not-so-favorite things. So um, I just thought I'd share. Thanks. Bye-bye.